Welcome to the True Crafting Crew. Today, I will be doing adhesive vinyl. I've already pre-cut some stuff, so I'll show it to you. But we are making these Starbucks cups. They are blank like this to start off. Y'all see? And I will make it look like this. They are so cute, y'all. Look, I got Million Dollar Max on there. Y'all see that? Anyway, so I'm about to do these cups for you guys right now. In order to do that, of course, you need a Starbucks cup or you need any kind of cup, any kind of cup. I have these two, um, I guess they are rolls that I use for, the, actually the vinyl comes off of the rolls, but you can definitely use like a tube, like a noodle tube for swimming or something. And I just rubber band these together, but y'all can glue them together, whatever y'all wanna do. I just, I'm gonna show y'all while I use this in a second. All right. So y'all see this? Okay. The reason I use this is when I apply the adhesive to my cup, I like it to stay still. I know you don't have to use it. If you want, you can just sit on the ground, but it tends to roll some. So I use this as like a stabilizer. Don't ask me where I, how I invent this stuff. I don't know where I come up with this, but I use these two pieces to keep it together. All right. So let's put this here. Let's talk about the vinyl. The vinyl that I'm using for this project is adhesive vinyl. This is our holographic adhesive vinyl. I'm sorry, I was about to say blink, but no, it's holographic adhesive vinyl. And this is our gray, regular black. And this right here is a tie dye. We actually print this in house. So we sell this, we make this to order, and we I think we have some already pre-printed, but I can make this inside. But we make this for shirts and also cups, adhesive. All right. So in order to do adhesive vinyl, you need two things. You need the adhesive vinyl and then you need transfer sheets. This is our clear transfer paper. This is made by Oracle. So let's get started. I have already pre-cut our design in our black adhesive, our rainbows, holographic. Yeah, I pre-cut all of this stuff, y'all. So I am going to start weeding. In order to weed this, I always say, we're gonna start from the outside and then we in. I cut this on our silhouette machine. I'm gonna do a live that actually shows you guys how I designed all of this in silhouette. But, let's see. This is our a weeding tool, it's a fine point weeding tool. So we're just gonna grab that end and just pull it off. And these are the paws, these are so cute. So you got those. Let's see what this says. I think this one says, this is our tie dye. This is gonna be really pretty. So I got that all weeded out. And we use this fine point tool in order to get all of the small things from the inside. So this is I Love Morpheus. Can I see that? Yeah. Let me see, what else we need? Pause. Yeah, this rainbow is one of my favorites because whenever you weed it, it's just so pretty. Like, look at this. Look how when it weeds. So nice. So pretty. Uh-oh. I lost one of these paws. So that when we apply them to our cup, it's a little bit easier to do. All right, so let's apply. So now that we have our cup here, oh, the doggy, that's what we're missing. All right, so in order to get this to stick to the cup, we use transfer paper. That's what I talked about earlier. So we'll cut a piece of transfer paper about the size of that circle. And it has lines on the back of the transfer paper so that you can make sure that it's straight. And 
And whenever you're cutting adhesive, you always want to cut straight up. And what I mean by that is you don't want to mirror your design. You want to cut it exactly the way it reads. So do not flip horizontally. Do not mirror. And you just lay it down onto the image and we're going to stick it on the cup. I like to flip it to make sure that I'm putting it on there right. So. This is the first piece that I applied, the circle around the face. And I'll just pull this off. Perfect. And I'm gonna throw this away because what I found is with the Oracle transfer paper, it is not that sticky the next go round. So I'm just gonna throw that away and give me a new piece for the next time. This is our dog. This is Morpheus. He's a Frenchie. And I am going to weed him out. And just like all the other times before, we're going to weed from the outside in. The corners. Morpheus, the Frenchie's face. Whenever I'm doing adhesive vinyl, is to cut whatever you're doing two times. So I always cut twice when I'm doing this type of work because adhesive sticks to itself, sticks to everything. So just in case, I always cut my design two times. Adhesive is not my favorite thing to do, I ain't gonna lie, but these cups are really cute. So they are worthwhile, y'all. And now I'm just weeding out the inside of his little paws. And more, this little dog is going to be black and gray. So I have a gray layer that's already weeded, thank God, that we just going to stick on. This is the gray piece. So could I transfer paper? And like I said it before, this is our transfer paper and it's it's clear and it has lines on it. So we're gonna transfer the gray piece over. So we got this piece, and we also have this piece right here. And we're gonna transfer, pull up the entire gray piece y'all see it's on the transfer paper and I'm gonna lay it right on top of this black piece you gotta have steady eyes for this you gotta have good eyes for this So now that we got that piece on, we got his ears. His ears are pink. And we're gonna transfer these two. We're transferring down. This is what you call a layering of design. Then we're doing some intense layering over here. So now I got a little Morpheus all through. Let me add his little pink to his ears. <laughs> All right, so we got him all perfect. All right, so the next step is to add the little doggy to the cup. And really you wanna use a squeegee for this, but my squeegee in the front and I don't feel like going to get it. So we gonna use the back of the scissors. We are gonna do a hood for y'all, so. Yeah, he's so cute. He's so cute. Yes, yes, honey, yes. And we're gonna use our stabilizer to add him to our cup. Just 
perfect. Y'all see? He coming along just fine. <laughs> and like I stated, y'all, I don't, and I'm just pulling this transfer paper off the cup. And she'll be able to wash this just like you wash anything else. Isn't that cute? And like I stated, I'll be throwing all this stuff away. So. All right. I think I got this, y'all. This is super easy, y'all. Y'all could do this at home. It is not hard to do at all. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, I love Morph Morpheus on this part of the cup. would be just to add the little paws. So I'm gonna add her name and the little paws. So I got rainbow paws and I got bling paws and I got black ones. And I'm gonna add little paws to our cup. And that is gonna be the final touch into making this adhesive cup. Right now I got a paw. I'll be done with this little cup. What y'all think? What y'all think? He turned out good, huh? So anyway, this is how you do a Starbucks cup. This is Million Dollar Max. And this is Morpheus. <laughs> The front of both the cups. Y'all can y'all see? I know my light is shining. They are really cute. Very simple design. Doesn't take much time to do. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of the True Crafting Crew. See you later, True Crew.